Tinha água aqui, Lília. Oh, Glover, over here, other side. Right here. Right. Oh. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, uh, good. Well, welcome to your first fight week as UFC champion. How has fight week been for you with all these added responsibilities that come with the belt? I'm enjoying every moment of it, man. You know, it's great to be a champ. I'm enjoying the journey. That's an um, incredible time. Well, Habib had said something like when he got the belt, he had chased it for so long, and maybe it, it wasn't. It didn't come with everything that he maybe thought it was. It did, was it everything that you have expected uh, since, obviously, you've dreamt of becoming the UFC champion for so long? Uh, well, yeah, uh, you know, being a champ of the world, like people say, people keep asking how your life has changed, you know, after winning the belt, you know. Uh, I, I, I'll say the same thing. How, I, I, I don't have the answer. I'm like, what, what would it change, you know? Like, uh, because uh, I'm just humble, normal guy, and uh, just being a champion is just a title, and it's just accomplished that I chased it for so many years, and it's, uh, it's incredible. It's great to be a champion. And then you're one of the, those rare champions. When you won the title, you pretty much knew who you were going to fight right away. They've showed that clip of you meeting Yuri backstage in Abu Dhabi saying, well, you're next. So what do you make of his skill set? A lot of people online compare him. It's like a light heavyweight Tony Ferguson. Just He's kind of an out there character. He's very flashy in the octagon. So what do you make of his skill set? He's a you know, striker, a unique fighter, you know, unpredictable. And... Uh, me with my experience and uh, man, I like the the challenge. I want to prove to everybody, all you guys, all the fans, and most of all myself. You know, if uh, you know, am I ready? Am I the real champion? And I'm just gonna go after this guy. You know, and I I saw that he was there cutting the weight, and uh, he was the next in the line. As a fighter, I know how good he is. And uh, I like the competition. I like the challenge. And he was in here earlier, and he said in the year off he's had between fights, he's worked a lot on his grappling and his wrestling because he knows that was his biggest weakness. So are you expecting maybe a different Yuri in there knowing that he's preparing for you specifically? For sure. He's going to be um, different. could be better for him or worse, you know? Because he was doing really good doing what he was doing, right? Now, if he's going to change it, who knows if he's going to change it. I'm prepared for that jury. I'm prepared for the jury that I saw it, you know? What he's going to do? Trying for takedown, you know? Or we don't know. Like I say, he's unpredictable, you know? And um, I'm unpredictable because though when I, you know, you know I'm going for, for takedown, but uh, start defending those takedowns, those hands start hit you, like uh, happened with Blohovic. Um, you know, got him with the left hook, and then he thought, oh, oh shit, what's going on now, you know what I mean? So, we see, man, I'm just uh, excited to see what's going on. I'm, uh, I, I'm this type of fighter, you know, that I like the challenge, I like to see what's, uh, what's in the table, you know? Last one for me. I know you're not really looking past Yuri, but I feel like every interview you do now, people are always asking you when you're going to stop fighting. Uh, do you regret maybe saying the word retirement? I know there's some athletes in other sports that when they announce they're going to retire before the season, they regret it by the end because they have to do all. They have to answer that question over and over and over and over now. Yeah, I say it's a possibility, right? I never really say I'm going to retire in November. I say it's a possibility, you know, if we, uh, uh, you know. A great thing, 43 years old, and in, uh, in New York. But uh, you know, man, I don't. He's not regretting because uh, I never say for sure. And it doesn't matter. Like what you want now, it could could change. You know, could change. Uh, who knows? You know, after this fight or after the next fight, who knows how long I'm gonna fight? If I if I'm gonna be fighting uh, 45 years old like Randy Couture, and you know, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good. I don't have uh, any injury. Like you know, major injury because we all do a little bit, you know, after 20 years in the game. But like, uh, I don't know, you know, I don't, I, I'm just living the moment, man. I just living the moment, with tomorrow, let, be tomorrow, let tomorrow take care of itself, you know what I mean? But people keep asking when you retire or this or that, I'm like, I guess that, that, that come 
because of the question, you know, the guy keep questioning, you think you retire and everything, so I, I just say that, and like, it happens all over the place, you know? <laughs> and going off that, I mean, if you win this fight and maybe the next one, and you do start having real thoughts of that, do you think the UFC is gonna try to kind of push back? It seems historically, they don't love when a champion vacates the belt in your position, given your age, it'd be understandable, but um, it kind of resets the division. John Jones did it and it's only getting stable again now. Do you think they'll try to fight hard to keep you around? I don't do it for that. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be like a baby over here and say, oh, I'm going to retire so they can push me. You know, it's just, uh, it was a situation that I say, man. I say that, uh, but it, I even say, like, I don't want to be like a, a Cerudo that he retired and then want to fight everybody else now, you know. It's like, a, I can see, I'm not talking shit about him. I can see, like, he wanted to fight, you know. He want he, he... He didn't want to retire, you know. And me, I wanna, I, I'm go, always gonna. I tell, I tell my wife, I'm always gonna make this decision at home, you know. No matter what happened, and uh, if I win or lose, it, I probably never gonna make that decision in uh, in an octagon. I'm going home, and the day that I don't feel like I wanna train and I wanna do this camp and I wanna, you know, keep going, or or I f because you can feel, you know, like in the training. See, like, in the training room, you can feel like, man, I'm not training. I'm not like I used to be anymore, and that could be it. But, like, for now, I'm feeling, feeling like a champ. And uh, going off what you guys were talking about earlier about Yuri saying, you know, he might adjust his approach to the fights based around you. Is that already a win for you in a way that he is thinking so much about what you're going to do in there that he's changing himself instead of just fighting his fight regardless of the opponent? No, my win will be in octagon. I, you know, I, uh, I don't believe anything those guys say. My opponents say, never believe you enemy. <laughs> Not my enemy, but you know, uh, you know, just going over there, and uh, I'm excited to fight. And uh, man, I'm, uh, I'm expecting uh, the unpredictable jury. The very good striker, the move around, move his head a lot, and uh, we prepare very good for that. And we, you know, every fight is different. For Blahovic was one thing, for Thiago Santos another thing, because Thiago is just stay back and throw fire, fast punches. So you got you just adjust a little bit on your game, but at the end of the day, you can't change it that much, right? You can't change it that much. Like you, you see me changing after a few losses that I had. And you see the way I've been fighting lately in my fights, you know, but it, it's not much. It's just adjustment that I did in my own game, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't think it's going to be that big of a change. I think it's going to be pretty much the same jury. And what do you think this fight means for your legacy? I mean, a title defense would be awesome, but you see some of the all-time greats in the sport, they're able to beat guys who started the sport before them, who came up at the same time, and then guys who started years after them, and that's kind of the case with this fight. If you can beat a guy like Yuri, who is considered maybe a different generation from you, do you think that does a lot for your legacy? Every fight, every win, you know, I become a champion. Uh, I, I was, uh, you know, also already in, uh, in the rise like one of uh, a, a great fight, a great warriors that go over there and, and, and give it all, you know. I don't, uh, it's hard for me to promote, come over here and push, push guys and throw chair and buses and stuff like that to promote fight, but uh, I'm a fighter, you know. Everybody saw my fight, I'm going after finishing. Um, and, and uh, legacy, yeah. The more, the more you win, the you know, greater you become. You know, you can. You, but like, uh, I try to take away that from my mind. I try to just enjoy the fight, do my best, and that's what I did in the camp. That's what I'm doing right now. And the weight cut should be perfect. And uh, going over there and fight my best. I'm not looking forward to. I'm just happy, man, that everything that happens in my life, you know. Uh, to be here and 42 years old, be a champ of the world and defending my belt. Just go over there and just have fun.
And I know you've said already that uh, Jan Blachowicz will probably be next uh, if you win this fight. Do you feel like that is, you know, the certain next option, or there's this fight between Anthony Smith and uh, Megamed Ankalaev coming up on July 30th that maybe with an impressive win, do you think they could be the next guy? I don't choose opponent. You know, you can ask Dana White, like, when did I say anything about opponent? Whoever, that's not my job. You know, I keep saying that. I, so when you start doing that, you got too much on your plate. You know, well, I, now I want to manage fight, you know, and, and do all that. For me, I'm a fighter. But uh, like I say to Jiri over there, right after the fight, I say, you're next, me, you're the next. But, uh, you know, if the UFC come up with some other guy, I will say, yes, let's go. And uh, I say Blachowicz because Racket was... You know, talking, uh, he was even talking shit to uh, Jerry, saying, you know, he should be the next in the line. And if he beat Blovich, for sure he was going to be the next in the line. And uh, I, I, Blovich was the number two, right? Number two contender, and uh, he won that fight. And, uh, that's, that's, you know, that's, a common, that's what I say, as a common sense, like, do you win, you're going to be the next in the line. But uh, it's not my job. Whatever. The boss say, man, I'm here, hey, let's go, let's do it. You fought almost three different decades, 20 years career, and you're 42 years old, the oldest UFC champion of the world. So would you give some advice to young, you know, young fighters in the back home? Would you give them some advice to inspire them? My advice is to uh, enjoy the, the journey, man. Don't, don't take it too serious, you know, because uh, when you start thinking too much about, all, you know, the guys just ask over here about your legacy, about the title and about all that, that's like a, it's a lot in your, your mind. Just go over there and do your very best every day in training and uh, enjoy, man. If you don't like to do this, Go find something else. Uh, but if you like to do this, just enjoy the moment, you know, and and, and go over there and 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 you know, it, it, UFC is like a. I think Dana is a big part of this, but UFC is like a. It's so different than boxing, you know, because uh, you see, like a uh, Gilbert Durinho, he lost that fight, and uh, and that was like a winning for him. That was a big win for him. He become like. So you just go over there and do your very best and uh, fight like a warrior and uh, you're going to get your reward. That's what I, I, my advice would be, you know. Uh, your opponent, Jiri Prochaska, has a 12 winning streak and a 2, uh, 11 is a KO and you have 6 winning streak and a 5 is in a, before the time. So how do you see the, how do you, how do you see the result of the fight? Are you planning 25 minutes or less? It's different, you know. Uh, 15 win streak, uh, uh, not not in UFC. It's yeah. very hard to do yeah. in UFC, you know. It's very hard to do in UFC. I was when I, I don't know when I fought John Jones. Uh, I, I, I what it was like uh, Anthony Johnson. No, when I fought John Jones, I was yeah. I was coming up of uh, uh, 14, 15. Uh, I was like there, something like that too, uh, like uh, 13, 14 fights, winning streak in a, in a row. You know, with you know ma many knockouts, many because it's it's not UFC. It's hard to do that with UFC. So that doesn't mean much. You know what I mean? I know he's a he's yeah. a great fighter. I know he's a tough fighter, but that, it doesn't mean, like, it'd be hard to do 15 winning streak in here. Last few fights, you always been, you know, under talk and always fight versus the strikers, such as Thiago Santos, Anthony Smith, so on. So what's the difference between them and Jiri Prochaska? Uh, what do you mean between the fighters? Uh, yeah, differences. You know, they're different they're style, different style. Great fighters, right? Uh, Thiago Santos just as dangerous. Uh, Anthony Smith, you know, uh, Jan Lovic. He fought like I mean, he beat one of the the greatest middleweight, uh, Adesanya. I thought I thought that was the toughest fight for him to beat, and uh, you know, uh, they great fighters. They just different style. Different style, and um, so excited for that. Yes. So, which gym 
did you prepare for this fight? You know, you you always making camp in your own gym, but uh, uh, did you go to the, any other huge gym or just stay stay in your your uh, gym? My gym, my gym, yeah. The shit MMA. And say, man, we building a uh, champions there. Next one, Alex Pereira. I think you know is a. Uh, we have a great team there. We have Welton Tuma coming up, and uh, soon we're gonna make some noise. It's uh, it's just the beginning for that gym, you know. Okay, but tell me the reason why so many fighters, you know, even across cross over the uh, border, you know, join to the town of a good talent. But why are you always prepared to to fight in your gym, you know? Uh, why? Uh you know, um, I, was, I, I went all over the world, you know, I trained with everybody, I, you know, Holland, trained with Peter Arts, you know, I trained, uh, you know, you name it, I trained, you know, go with ATT, train with, so it got to a point that I was like, man, I'm just going to relax, just going to, first, uh, the first gym that I opened was, uh, was like a, a garage, you know, it was 2,000 uh, square feet. Uh, open uh, like a warehouse, and uh, I, I see my friends tell me that I see Glover. I see people start training in a garage, and then after they go to UFC, they go to to bigger gym. You you did the opposite. You open the the garage over here, go back to the, say, hey, man. You know, I call my my coach uh, Fanelli Feliz. He lives in Denver. He's a great boxing coach, and uh, I ask him, hey, would you train me? And uh, the rest I'll, I'll figure it out. And uh, just to be home, you know, comfortable with my, uh, the, the, the environment, you know, at home, relaxing, chill, and uh, the people that I, that I train, the people that I train and help me out for the gym, it's amazing, you know. A lot of people thought it was not going to work out. And... Um, for a while there, I I I, uh, I thought because I did that gym after Jones, you know, and uh, and I trained for Phil Davis in there, and I lost that fight, and I, I, and for a while there I was like, maybe they're right, but uh, let me keep going, let me do this, you know, and uh, it's working. Okay, thank you so much, Mito Obrigado. Okay. You actually had a 20 fight win streak when you fought John Jones. See, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, it's different, you know, fighting uh, is different. And, uh, it's hard to put you on a fight winning streak yeah. in the UFC, you know what I mean? How many Khabib had, like 10? 10 fights? Yeah. Khabib? <laughs> Khabib was 10 in the UFC straight? Yeah, Ka Ka John Jones, too, you know, he got, but like what, 10 too? It's, uh, it's hard to do, hard to do, man, 10, uh, 15 fights over here. Yeah, this was 16, that was Anderson. Yeah. Huh? Anderson had the record with 16. 16, yeah, yeah. Anson Silva, the greatest of all time, yeah. right? Usman's sitting at 15 it, right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, but you, I, it's not easy, you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't say it's not possible, it's not easy. And Joanna was in here and she said, um, I'm almost 35, I'm old now. You're almost 10 years older than her. So did you expect to be competing this late into your like, career, like past 40 at this point? No, like I, you know, talk about retire. I say that before. I say, hey, man, I'm 32 years old. I signed with UFC because uh, when I was in Brazil waiting for my green card, I was like, uh, you know, people say, everybody, you think of yourself, you know, I'm losing my prime over here. I'm 28 years old, you know, 29, 30 years old, and I'm like beating everybody and thinking like, man, this is like, because I got... I shake Dana White's hand after the Sakujo fight in 2006, and he said, get, you, get your situation figured out, and we sign you right away, man. And uh, that was 2006. You know, I was 20, 26, 27 years old at that fight. And I, I thought I was losing the problem, but when I signed with 32 years old, I say, hey, man, if I fight in UFC, in UFC, until I'm 40, I retired. And, uh, hey, <laughs> It's too, it's too hard to retire, you know? Uh, you are preparing Alex Pereira, and, and uh, how do you see the uh, future of the Alex Pereira? Alex is a, is a workhorse, man. You know, like I say, Rio recognize Rio, you know? Soon as he come to that gym, he say, that's why I want to train. And uh, perfect fit, right? He's a striker. Uh, he better, he, he's the best 
kickbox uh, the wrestle, you know what I mean? Because uh, uh, very hard to take down, very strong, and he's a workhorse. I believe that he's going to have a tough fight ahead of him. I believe he's going to win, and, and he's going to win the title. I truly okay. believe that. The truth is, if he won the Sean, uh, Sean Strickland, he's going to f fight tight next. Say it again. If Alex Pereira win the Sean Strickland, what do you mean? So he's going to fight tight next Israel Adesanya? I, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's what we think. That's what we hope so, you know? Because he's right there, and Adesanya him will be a... A great fight. That all depends on uh, you know the whole situation, Dana and uh, and uh, Adesanya if he really wants to to take that fight. Because Alex Pereira beat after Israel Adesanya two times. One is knockout in the same year. So, uh, what do you think about Alex Pereira? Uh, um, when he will the meet the Israel Adesanya? Uh, yeah, I mean, you think about it like uh, Adesanya fought him with the kickboxing gloves, and uh, he know how hard he hit, yeah. and uh, with MMA gloves, it's, it's like, who knows, you know, I, I, I don't know if he's going to take that fight that easy, you know, I think he's going to have a conversation with Dana White trying to get away from that fight, you know, because... When you lose your guys two times and you know how dangerous he is, how hard he's hit, and not the sign of best. Uh, I mean, looking at the sign against the Blohovich, his best chance to beat Alex is stand up, you know. And he already lost two times, so it's going to be tough for him to to fight Alex. Yeah, Alex Peter. Uh Israel is almost clear of the middleweight division, so I think only men stayed in there. And Alex Pereira might be win out the Sean Strickland one more fight, and after that he should meet uh, Israel Adesanya. So what do you think about it? He deserved. Well, he deserved in a two, three fight, uh, one or two fight win after he's going to meet uh, Israel Adesanya. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, we we just we just working, man. We just doing our work, you know. Uh, he beat in strike land, and uh, hopefully he fight with other son. If not, we got another one. You know, it's not like we see. We're not uh, worried about it too much. Hi, Glover.